Yeah, so we're here, and we're just going to wait a few minutes, or at least a minute, for other people to get on and start watching. Hi, Amy Daly. Yeah, send the love. We love that. And actually, when you're looking at this, the hearts, when they give you hearts, it, uh -huh. it, it gives you more credibility out to the oh, to web fun. people. And what this I, is my first. It's my first time doing this. So. It's like it a virtual is. applause. Hi. It's a virtual, <laughs> virtual yeah. applause. But it's going to be good. I promise you guys. We've been not with her personally, but we have been in a class with her all weekend long and have learned <laughs> so much. It's just amazing. So, okay, there's only eight of you. Where are you all from? Where's some of you from that I don't know? Somebody? <laughs> all right. You That's all right. Shot. Make sure they invite their followers so that anybody can see this, and we'll put it on YouTube later, too. Yeah. If you don't know how to do that, if you... Hi, Cleveland. Yes. Amy. If you don't know how to share with your followers, swipe up if you've got a droid, and just hit the share. And then if you... Can't wait to hear you. Finally, a scooper. A, oh, a scoper. <laughs> She's going to be. She's got an account. She just hasn't used it yet. Canton. Canton, Michigan or Canton, Ohio? Actually, there's several. But anyway, and if you have an uh, iOS device, swipe to your left, I believe, and then your share button will be there. Hello, hello. Yep. That's Amber Cross. She's from Panama City, Florida. Woo! Yeah. So I guess um, we've got eight of you. I, people come on, they see this after over and over and over nice. for 24 hours. So I don't want you to be disappointed that there's only eight. And they come and they go. only eight. The most important eight are here right this minute. That's minutes. right. Because you guys are going to get. Everything happens for a reason. Yeah. You're going to get And the ones scoop. who, uh, right, will, they'll appreciate this. Yeah. I know. Michigan. <laughs> Nat is too, is from Michigan. Okay. Yeah, good. Thank you, Amber, for inviting your followers. Anybody else, get out there and do that because we got to get going. She's actually. Um, running to get one of her children here, and she's got to leave here in about 15, 20 minutes. So. Got to go do the mama thing. Yep. Hey, oil boss. How you doing? Okay, so I'm going to give her a little introduction, um, and this is coming straight from my heart for real. Uh, she doesn't even know it because she barely knows me, <laughs> but she means a lot more to me than she'll ever, ever know. But I look up to this woman not only because she's a kind person, but she has fortitude like you don't know. She has a confidence about her and a willingness to share any of her knowledge with anyone. She crosses lines. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what network marketing group you're in. She's got so much knowledge willing to share, and you just got to love her for that. Uh, hi, Karen. Nat, too, here. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I especially like her because of her focus and her willing to change not only her life, but her family's life through network marketing. Now, I don't know if you all know, we are all with Young Living uh, Essential Oils, and we love our business. But for any of you that are out there that are just regular, you know, network marketers of any other company, you're welcome to hear. She has, because uh, we're all on the same... What? Journey. We're on the same journey. We're on the same journey. Yeah. We're, we're not climbing the ladder, but we're trying to move up in our companies if you're working the business. And this girl has done it. So, oh, thank you for all the hearts. Okay, so, um, she, we were at a class yesterday, and she had said something that I thought was so profound, especially coming from where she's come from. And her words were this. Write these down and make them your mantra for the next week. They're really good. Instead of making excuses... Make it your why. Yeah, give her some hearts for that. That was worth it. That Instead of making excuses, make it your why. Shannon has raised four children. She has homeschooled all of them. She has major and has, she's had and still is working with debilitating health issues. And she worked a full-time job when she first started doing her network marketing company. And yet she never used one of those as an excuse. Uh, to stop or not move forward and take this where it can go. So she has set her goals, she has made her mind up, and she is now achieving or achieved your dreams. That's right. Correct? That's right, yeah. And, and so with nothing else to say, because here she is, you guys have been waiting for her for a long time, Shannon Hudson. So I guess I, I, guess I really just want to start by asking you, you know, how long have you been doing network marketing? Um, I started when I was 18 years old. We had just got married and we came home from our honeymoon and my cousin was there and they were drawing the circles talking about what you could have and what life could be and, 
and all these dreams that I had never thought of. And I remember it was so funny because I remember him saying, if you get to this certain rank, you'll make $2,000 a month. And I was like, oh wow. my gosh, that would be like, I would never have to work again. Yeah. <laughs> I was so thrilled at 18. And we worked hardcore, we read books, we did all kinds of things, and we did everything it took, but we were still in that growing journey. We had no clue. We were still kids. I honestly, I was a mean, mean person. If you did something wrong, I would tell you, and I would tell you why you were so stupid doing it. And so all the different stops, and we were in multiple companies, in and out, and each one, I love and appreciate every company that I was ever with because each one I grew with each one I learned a new thing I became somebody better than the person I was to begin with that's great and then now I'm at the rank of diamond which is always the dream diamond. Of working company diamond Woo! girls and yeah. it was just it's been this amazing journey but along the way I mean we came in when we got into this particular company we've been here seven years um, we were cleaning toilets for a living I, I cleaned toilets, we cleaned for doctor's offices, and we cleaned for schools, and all kinds of different things, and that's what I did. And actually, um, three months before we were introduced to Young Living, myself, my husband, my four kids, we were living in a campground because we were homeless. We lived there from, um, when the weather got nice, we moved into the campground because we got evicted, and we were there until um, right before it snowed. Wow. And three months later, we were introduced one more time. And when I was introduced, I wanted not to do it. I said, I can't do this again. I just, I can't. And honestly, it was because I didn't want to get my hopes up again. I had done it so many times through the years. And I said, I just cannot keep getting excited and then having it crash. But there was a difference this time. I was a different person this time. And it just, it skyrocketed. I ran with it. And I knew that I knew that I knew that come hell or come, no matter what happened, I was going to push through and I was going to do it. I would never stop. I would never stop because I think that was what happened with the other ones is I would get so far and it wouldn't do it go as quick as I thought or I wouldn't have these things and I had these dreams but they were so short lived that I didn't give it enough time to see what could happen if I just stayed the course and I just kept going and I kept running and I kept sharing. My biggest advice to anybody in any company is never stop sharing. Hmm. Just keep sharing. Just keep sharing no matter what. Especially this company because we're based on sharing. Oh, absolutely. Everything about it is. Yeah. Well, that, that's, the, well, that's what network marketing is about. It's friend to friend, mom to mom, sister to sister, brother to brother. We're each and every one of us sharing our passion and our dream. Mm -hmm. No matter what company, no matter what tool you're using, and you just keep. The only difference between a person just signing up in any network company mm -hmm. and the Royal Crown Diamonds is how many times they shared. Hmm. That's the only that's, difference. They didn't quit. True. That's true, isn't it? How long have you actually been doing this now? Um, this company, seven years. Seven years. Seven, seven years. years to get to, to Diamond. Years. I got there a year ago, so don't be cutting yeah, six, <laughs> six years to get to Diamond, girls and, I mean, and gentlemen. I mean, that's true, but the reality, because we have learned so much in other companies, it didn't take, because we built very, very quickly. We, we went quickly in the company. But it wasn't that seven years. It was from the time I was 18. It took 25 years because we were in such a spot of not willing to grow. If you're not willing to grow and not willing to change, if you're not going to change what you're doing right now. You can't have something you didn't have. Hmm. It's a continual process that you have to be willing. You have to be willing to grow yourself. Yeah, it, that's, I think that's almost more important than growing the business is oh. how you grow yourself personally to accept Go ahead, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No, please. Um, so, as a diamond, how has that changed your life for you? Her <laughs> husband, by the way, he is at every single one of these classes. Yeah. So I, he's in the back of the room right here now. I have to give him so many kudos because he is here and supporting her all the way. Whether he's up here speaking or not, he is beside her all the way. And so good, good. give him some hearts, girls. It's because Shannon shares truly even if you aren't in her downline. Yes, she does. Half of this room, when it's filled up, more than half of it are not your own downline. Probably, yeah. Um, she's unique. She's a very unique person in that perspective. Yes, give him kudos and give her kudos for being <laughs> such a sharer. So now, um, with your children, you have four children. She is homeschooled, which I mentioned before. Um, are they following in your footsteps as far as network marketing is concerned? And, and uh, I see them. Her kids, too, are more than supportive because they're at every single every event. we do. It, there, there's one at the front door taking tickets. There's other ones that have made soups in the back. <laughs> and they make all their own they work. Their fingers to the bone at the event. <laughs> They're really, and they're all really, really sweet, but are they following in your footsteps? I guess it's a yes and a no. They're following in my footsteps in that both my, my three older ones that are old enough to be in Young Living um, have already signed up. 
but they've only signed up a few people mm -hmm. and it's a hit and miss which means they're following in my footsteps because that's what I did yeah. you know but I my personality is this I can sign people up really really easy mm -hmm. but I'm not gonna build it for them more than anything I want my kids to have that same growth process to be able to when they hit a rank to feel that confidence that they did it, not that mommy did it for them. Right. This is their business, their team. I'll partner with them. I'll I'll help them on the journey. They want to talk to people. I'll go do it, but I'll never do it for them. Yeah. Because and I won't do that for anybody. I think people need to earn their rings because how much satisfaction is there in knowing that? Oh my gosh, I did it. Right. Walking across the stage, getting the kudos, getting the pins. I wear my it's my diamond pin. Oh yeah. See, I work hard for this pin. Man, I forgot. I wear my pin. I, I I wear my stuff, and I I got my diamonds because we were the we were the cleaning company people we made eleven thousand a year when we came into young living we didn't have anything and we came in and we started sharing when we didn't have anything we didn't have a dream i shared because people needed to know i felt so confident in our products that i could talk to anybody about them and i just kept going and it didn't matter to me whether they chose to partner with us or whether they they waited or whether they didn't care that didn't matter my job because I wanted this so bad was to share. I sprinkled seeds everywhere to go, everywhere I went. So what was, what, I know that through time, everybody's why's changed a little bit. So what, oh, so was, what was your first why that got you driven? And then what is, how has that changed I over the years? I love that question because it evolves. Uh, because if you don't know your why, you won't get out there and do anything. And my first why was because my life was radically and dramatically changed. 25 minutes, I used these phenomenal products, and it was like these blinders had been taken off my eyes. And that reality and how I changed so quickly, I knew that this was going to be my mission field. So my original why was, I was a busy woman, cleaning company, doing all that stuff. I only had one day a week. And one day a week, I would share with one person. It was my commitment. It was my give back to the community kind of thing, right? But my first check with the company after enrolling four people I shared one a week I signed up one a week and my first check with the company was enough to make me go okay I can get more product it didn't make me think there was a business because remember we had been down that road right and nobody ever does this Working never works. Right. That was, we had conversations about that. You my, sell it to your mother and your father and your exactly. sister and your brother and you're, right. you're done. <laughs> exactly. As a matter of fact, my husband at one point had said, no more. You can't go to a purse party. You can't go to a, a top board party. Nothing because you'll go, you'll end up with a kit because you think you can do it better. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, and then I have to see you cry. It wasn't that he didn't want me to do it, but I would get so sad because it wouldn't work. Mm -hmm. So with this one, I just won a week. That's all I did. And I got that little check and I ordered more product and I never told my husband I got the check. <laughs> no, sorry about because if he knew well, mama's money, mama's right. money. Well, no, well, if he knew, he would have. I told him I wouldn't do networking. Oh, I'm like oh, I can't do this. So really can't do this. But my I did the same thing. I'm a smart woman. I like my stuff. I like my products. I want it for free. So I did it again. I'll just do one person a week. Oh. Well, what happened is those first four people they were telling people. And so my second check with the company was almost $2,000. Oh my God. And it was like that hard time. Now this one he knew. Yeah. Because <laughs> I went down the driveway like, woo! I enjoyed the check. I was so excited. And I remember calling my sponsor. And this is the important thing of understanding where the money comes from. Because I called my sponsor and I said, oh my gosh. I signed up four people. I got a check for like $400. I signed up four more people the second month. I got a check for 16 It doesn't make sense. What happened? And my friend, I call her my stalker. Um, I said, we know her. She, she comes to all the classes too and she's his talker all right. She is. She's right. I said, what happened? And she's like, I have no idea. I don't know what <laughs> It was awesome. So I just kept going. And when I got that big check, I said, you know, I can either clean toilets for a living or I can change lives for a living. And that day we sold off all the contracts that we have and we went full time that exact day. The next month we went silver, we went gold two months later, and it's just been a continual journey since then. And right now we're on the journey to Crown Diamond and it'll happen, I have no doubt. You know why? Because I'll never stop sharing. That is awesome. That is so awesome. I just love it. And it's so encouraging. And doesn't that empower you guys? Doesn't that make you want to go out there and just pound the pavement and do what we're supposed to do and share our oils? It changes lives. It, you haven't even heard part of her story of where she's come from and the health issues she's dealt with and where she's at today. And it's phenomenal. She tells it at each one of the classes and all the big events that she has here in Michigan. And every time I hear it, it's so inspiring. I get so mad because my hip might have a glitch or something and I can't get out and do something. Oh, my Lord. She works with, can I say it? Yeah. What you have? Sure. She's battling leukemia and MS. Every day she battles with this. Some days, Leah has actually, I have it myself, 
can I say that? Has, has seen her roll into a class in a wheelchair because yep. the pain was so bad. And yet, did that stop her? That is so inspiring to me. How about you guys? Love, send those loves to her. It's just so awesome. Her husband is in the back. He was back there laughing when you were telling the one story. I meant to say that before. Because I want you to know, my husband doesn't care that I do network marketing anymore. Oh, yeah, not at all. Yeah, it's supporting the family, really. Oh, my gosh, yeah. she was able to um, quit working. Oh, gosh, honey, when was it? Even four months in? Four months in, he was able to quit working, doing what he was doing. I mean, it has been a radical. For a girl who had never really been out of Michigan, and I travel the world now for a living. I get paid to travel to places like Ecuador and in Europe and Croatia and, and around the world. I get to go to Florida. I don't even know how many times a year I end up in Florida. We're getting ready to go to Texas. And we got another cruise coming up. And we just took the kids as an incentive just because they do so much. They do. They're at all of our Thank events. You. They work hard. They answer phones. They're just phenomenal. It's a family business. And as a reward to them, um, we went for three weeks. We went on a full cruise, took them their friends it was a great big party That's we spent so awesome. two weeks in a beach at a beach house just had just a phenomenal time and this was from people that were 11,000 a year so I was a toilet bowl cleaner there's nothing special about me I, I, I introduce network marketing to people sitting in a wheelchair if I can do it what is stopping you? That's right. It is. You know what it's she told me? She told a story once. She takes every opportunity she can to help and share her uh, oils with people. Why? Because she knows how they can help somebody. How change is like, whether it's abundance. What's her, what's her thing? Wellness, purpose, and abundance. Thank you. Yeah. And so for three different reasons, she shares. And she told a story once, oh, I don't know, a few weeks I was up here ago, and how she was on an airplane. And if there's anybody around you before they're done, they're signed up. That's right. I think you told me you signed up four people that day. That's you know, right. whether you were sitting, you got caught in an airport for a little while or something, yeah. whatever. She takes the opportunity wherever she is. She's not, and I know some of you say, oh, I'm so shy and I can't come up with conversations or stuff like that, but you just have to keep your ears open. Isn't that right? And, but as long as you keep saying that, you're absolutely right. Yeah, yeah. If you're somebody that says, I just can't talk to strangers, I just can't talk to strangers, I just can't talk to strangers, I can't talk to strangers. Oh. Your body, your mind, your cells are going, yeah, we can't do that. Yeah. And they partner with it. But if you just change that and verbalize and say, I'm amazing talking to people. It doesn't matter who comes in contact with me. That is the exact person. Like I said, when there's eight of you on the, that's the exact eight people that are supposed to be here because nothing happens by accident. So if I can make contact with somebody and we make eye contact, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to share with you because now you're my best friend. Yeah. Because you're here for a reason. I really believe that. I really believe nothing happens by accident. And that changes. It makes it easier. It's true. It, it, it's solid. It's true. Okay, so I know she's got to get out of here and go pick up her daughter. But if you could give just two, two things to help people to keep moving forward or keep themselves motivated, what would it be? Have you, could you give keep just... sharing and finish what you start. So never stop sharing with new people. I don't care what rank you are. I don't care what level you are. I don't care if you're brand new. You constantly set a goal. Say, I'm going to share with two people every day, five people every day, ten people every day, whatever. Pick mm -hmm. a number. Right. And do that consistently because you said you would. But second, finish what you start. If you share your opportunity with somebody and you're at the end of it and you don't give them an opportunity to get started and say something like, here, fill this out. Right. Here, let's get you your own. Yes. Here. And you don't finish it, then this is just a hobby. Mm -hmm. If you want to actually make an income and make this a lifestyle and you want to keep going through those ranks, you have to finish what you start. Give them a chance to get started. They listen to your spiel. Right. They didn't throw anything at you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's yeah. no kicking or gnashing. Mm -hmm. Give them an application and say, here, fill this out. I give people applications as soon as they come to the classes. Any yeah. of the parties, I make sure that everybody's got an application and a few other little things uh, in their lap to to look at, but that application is there so that I can say at the very end, now um, if you just turn that paper over, there is an application there for all those who are ready. Who's ready to get started now? That's nice. really what I say. Yeah, and if one it. person, if you can get one person to say, I'll do it, then it kind of follows through. Exactly. You get excited. Exactly. So, yep. who yes. has loved this interview with Shannon Hudson? I could sit here and do this for hours, literally, if she had the time. It's wonderful. Um, let's see. Who else is on here? 
Stephanie, Stephanie 121, please, yeah, give her some kudos, give her some hearts. If you like what you've heard, maybe next time I come up, I'll be up here in August again. Nice. I'm going back to Ohio tomorrow, but if, uh, if I come back up in August, who wants to hear some more of Shannon's story and some more tidbits from, the, from a diamond, girls? This is a diamond. Who wants to hear that? Give her a shout out. Kim from New York. Hey, hi Kim, how you doing? I love that. Sense for today. Um, give her some heart so she knows that this was worth. If you have gotten, um, what's, uh, if you have gotten value out of this, listening to this diamond speak to you, speak from her heart, then then let her know so by giving her the hearts. And then she is, she has a Periscope, uh, an account, but she hasn't yet posted. <laughs> this is her first one, so maybe. But this listen, I gotta tell you why I don't post. Oh, and even when she asked me, I said, you know, I can't. I have lots of audios. You go to my website. Can I say my website? Yeah. Oh yeah, please. Uh, my good. website, and it's open to everybody. I don't care who you are, what business, what go there. Team. There's it's so Shannon, much information. It's shannonhudsonyl.com. Yes, yeah. H A N N O N H U D S O N Y L dot com. And I jokingly said, if you go to my site, there's lots of um, audios, but there's no videos because I am much thinner on audio than I am on video. <laughs> it's a stretch Aww. because the irony is, because you guys a pride thing. I don't like my size. I don't want to be on the video because it looks bigger on the video. I'm just saying. But it's funny because the past week and a half, I now have six different interviews that I'm doing, and they're all video. Oh, I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah, something's being said to you. Oh, Time to Lord. break her. Oh. You're stressing me, but I'm here, and I love all of you guys, and I want you to know you can do anything that you decide up here you can do. Yep. Achieving your next rank, whatever it is, whether you're brand new, whether you're going for diamond, crown diamond, silver, executive, I don't care. Yep. If you can get up here and you can see a picture of you doing it here, it's done. Yep. Then you just put the action steps behind it because you're only going to be drawing to you the people that are supposed to be a part of your team. Yeah. It'll change your life. you got to own it up here first. Yeah. Isn't she amazing? Somebody wrote on there, you are an amazing woman, Shannon Aww, Hudson. Aw, thank you. Yeah, but we, it kind of went by. Done. Yeah? Okay, Woo! so you did get value out of this, and I'm so happy. Thank you, Amber. Lots of laughs she's saying. <laughs> uh, you know, she has come a long way. I don't care what she says. She, 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 she doesn't like her size, but, you know, seven years ago, she was a different person from that. Absolutely. So whatever she is working on, she gives these classes. She's working on all the same things we are, digestion, health, all that kind of stuff. And, and one day, uh, one day. I'm going to be a size five in a bikini crossing the stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you want to be 14 is the standard size now. That's Don't all. take away my dream. What are you oh, saying? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I all right, love you all. I got to yeah. go see my babies because yeah. my kids are always and have always been the number one thing for me. So I got to go. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll see you guys. And maybe.